Alright, so hello everybody. Um, so this video is actually going to be a little quick and dirty. And that is because I was in the emergency room last night. I have an impacted wisdom tooth on my right side. It's getting removed next week. But, eh. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to pause for a second. I actually have something. Studio quality mic arrived. The pop shield is not here yet, the stand for it is not here yet, and the correct wire to plug it in is not here yet. Apparently these have all been sent in separate, in separate packages. So I have the mic, I just don't have everything else that goes with it. Go figure. So we have here today the M6. Um, I recently sold my M6, I got a couple good replays out of it, it was a fun tank to play. And I also have, um, I'm supposed to do the Tiger P today, but that would require a double feature, and I really don't have the time to pull a double feature right now. Because, like I said, I just got in from the emergency room, I'm kind of still in a bit of pain, but, uh, yeah. Life sucks. Hopefully my wisdom teeth will come out relatively easily next week when they're scheduled to be removed, and I won't have to be in bloody murder pain too, for too much longer. In the meantime... Let's get on with Fior the Tank Girl, shall we? We're driving around in our M6. Uh, I accidentally bumped into the PC4 because I was trying to type because I got loaded into the game late. And that's about it. So this is an American heavy tank. Unlike the T1 heavy, it does not have the frontal armor to just duel it out. When I say this, the T1 heavy, for the most part, if you face the enemy correctly, i.e. head on, and they weren't shooting a weak point, you could pretty much expect to bounce. The M6, I have discovered, that's not so much the case. Type 58, you're on YouTube. I hope you have fun embarrassing yourself. I say haters gonna hate, and taters gonna tate. He is a tomato. Not to stat plug anybody, but seriously, if you're going to actually make fun of me, at least have the stats to back it up. Or at least do something amazing. I, on the other hand, I'm going to be super hyper aggressive because I know they're slow and I don't care. Rawr. Hello, Covenator. You's going to have a bad day. Ah. Oh. Wasn't quite quick enough to get around the corner and shoot him, and there's a KV-1. And as you can see, KV-1 bounce. So you can bounce some shots, but do not expect consistent bounces. And your 90 millimeter, pretty much, at tier 6, goes through everything you need to point at. There is the occasion where a tier 8 tank might give you some trouble, but... I found those to be rare. I can't get the gun quite down far enough because of the angle of the hill, but I did scare him out. The AMX is now shooting high explosive trying to hurt me. This poor guy. Ah! <laughs> Again, the angle of this hill is horrifically bad even with my good gun depression. But now, I'm finally going to get around and let this KV-1 have it in the back. Pretty sure I'm not going to reload before these mediums do. KV-1 pens me. I ram him. Through the front of the turret! Now when my track fixes itself, I turn around and I aim at the Hellcat. You know, at least look threatening. He's not going to last very long. This is the kind of city push I like to see. You see, all the tanks together are being very, very, very aggressive. I haven't personally done a lot of damage. I've done three shots worth of damage in one kill. Don't wait for the enemy. Go get his ass. Now, there are a couple of unspotted TDs. And I believe the KV-220 is still back here in their base. As well as their artillery. And we are just rolling. Don't want to give them any time to react, any time to set up. And look at that, KV-220, SU-85. I fire on the move and miss. 
I delock the 220 and look at the SU-85. He has the highest DPM out of this group. He needs to die first. He also has the highest pen. Alright, he's gone. KV-220 hits me. Hurts me a little bit. Hits me again. I, however, bite back and then re-angle my tank. Now I'm beyond his uh, gun area, but I can still shoot him in the side. Cromwell, no shot. I know the, the Electo is back there just pinging away at me. Look at this. The poor Electo, round after round, does nothing. There's the Electo. I got a bare minimum shot at him, but I'm going to zoom all the way in and good night. Cromwell, Cromwellington. Well, you're not getting away today. And this is kind of how you use your M6. You be hyper aggressive, you get in their face, and you stay in it. And somebody shot me in the ass. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this little trip with the M6. Um, this is actually one of my worst matches with it. I had a really good time with this tank. 3100 win 8 isn't bad. 1600 damage in a tier 6. That's definitely secured me the high caliber. Um, again, this is a decent tank. You just have to watch those hull weak points and those turret weak points, which there are many of. You can see from this angle right here, you can see the machine gun port on the front, the driver port below the gun right there, the machine gun port there, the machine gun port here, the gunner's port here. Anywhere else on the front of this tank, however, is pretty well armored. Um, and as you saw from the Electo, bounce after bounce after bounce, anything tier 4 and 5, you can consistently just ricochet off this tank. You guys also saw it with the KV-1. He shot me three times, only pinned me once. Um, so, overall, decent tank. Uh, it's also kind of sort of starting to prepare you for what you can expect with the T-29, where your hull is pretty weak, but your turret is super strong. In the meantime, uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. If you want to help the channel grow, hit the share button and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, anywhere else you want to put it out. Um, hashtag is Fiora the Tank Girl. All this information is on the screen for you. Also remember that when we hit 500 subscribers, I'm doing another drawing. And that drawing is going to be out for you guys. However, the size of the drawing is going to be dictated by my patronage page, which you will also see down here. If you want to support the channel and you want to support me more directly, click on an ad. Because that's how YouTubers get paid when you guys click on the ads. There'll be one right after this video. While it's still on this page, click on that ad. Um, the other option is actually go to my patronage page. I'm asking for one dollar. More importantly, um, when you guys hit certain amounts, i.e. when collectively everyone's donated thirty-five dollars for instance, I'm going to be giving out larger drawings. That's to give you guys back for what you're giving to me and helping me out. So. That's everything I have for you guys today. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, right. If you want to be featured, send an email to FioraTheTankGirl at gmail.com. This feature can include your replay, a video of a, of a tank-based game, any tank-based game. I actually will be doing MechWarrior Online later this week. Surprise, surprise. Uh, mechs are tanks. They're just, you know, have legs, not tracks. Um, or if you want to be a commentator, a guest commentator, send me send me how you want to work that out, um, and we'll do the best, and I will do the best I can. The last thing is, if you want to really help the channel and you have your own channel, put me in the recommended channel section. I'll do the same for you. You can already see down here with Bean Dip and Claws that we're doing this for each other. It would be really helpful to me if you guys would do that. If you guys want to do that, so. Uh, I think that's about everything. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of May so that I can do the next drawing in May. If you guys have any other suggestions or anything else, please drop a line, let, leave a comment, something. Uh, that's it. That's it. And this is Fiora the Tank Girl officially signing off for the day before the Percocet wears off and my Wisdom 2 starts killing me again. Alright, so here's the stats of the match. Um, I apologize for me not being my usual perky self for my highest quality work today. Um, Hopefully you can forgive me. I'm kind of in a significant amount of pain and my jaw is actually starting to throb, which means it's time for another Percocet. Um, I really want to be off those painkillers. Anyway, so back to the M6. Here we go. Uh, I got a shot in on the Cromwell. I did some internal damage to the KV-220. And the ele that poor Electo, he tried so hard. Uh, here we go. So top of the team, XP, 1600 damage, high caliber steel wall. 
pretty good day. Um, a lot of my shots missed. I took shots I shouldn't have taken. I will admit that, be the first one to admit that I should have made sure the gun was on target before I pulled the trigger. Um, but also, look at the bounces. Those tier 4 and 5 tanks really can't hurt this thing. At least from the front. Now if they get beside you, your side armor is virtually paper. So you really need to face almost completely head on. Maybe have a 10 degree a offset angle, but make sure it's not enough that you're exposed that they are seeing anything except for your frontal track. Um, other than that, fairly good match. So that guy that shot me at the end, he paid me a thousand credits. I'll take a thousand credits. Um, and Mr. Type 58 came in second place in damage in this case, but but if you're gonna make fun of me, at least do better than I am. Anyway. Um, I'd sound like an elitist, but I mean that's the truth. If you're gonna make fun of somebody, at least prove that you're better than they are. And if I wasn't there, you guys wouldn't have pushed nearly as hard because you guys would have sat back and hesitated, and then there would have been an actual engagement in the city instead of back in the uh, hills and the in the town area. Anyway, I think that's about everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Make comments to let me know what I can do to improve and make this experience better for you and keep you guys here longer. Um, Please check out my other videos, which should be coming up in little cards up at the upper right hand of the screen. Also, check out my patronage page. If you happen to give a dollar, that would be absolutely wonderful. I've got a couple patrons already who are giving me a little bit, but remember, these videos take a lot of time to do. Um, my computer is down for up to four hours to get a single recording completely compiled. So, nothing I can do for that four hours except study and and come back and make sure the compiler hasn't froze up. That's the other thing, I can't actually leave while it's compiling. I have to sit here and make sure that the compiling software isn't having an issue. So, um, I think that's everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is Fiora officially signing out and going to go get her pain meds until I can go see the dentist next week.